What we're not packing when moving to Mexico. Hi, broadcasting not live from Mazatlan, Mexico. I'm Bill the Geek. Are you moving to Mexico to start a brand new life? Are you trying to figure out what to pack, what to sell, and what to leave behind? Are you thinking about bringing your car to Mexico? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this is the video that you must see. I've lived in Mexico almost 20 years now. The first time I came to Mexico, I came with one suitcase and a desktop computer, and that was in an airplane flight from Columbus, Ohio to Puerto Vallarta. Since then, I've made two trips to the United States, and both times I returned to Mexico by car. Along with those trips, I've moved in Mexico from Puerto Vallarta to Guadalajara, to Ajijic, to Chapala, to Al Arinal, and now I'm in Mazatlan. It's time to move again. I'm moving to central Mexico to a lovely city called Morelia. For 12 of my 20 years here in Mexico, I've had a car. So that made it pretty easy for packing uh, because I had an SUV. You can, you can get a whole apartment in an SUV. But now I have no car, so I've got to be very particular and careful and plan well what I'm going to take with me on this very long distance move. I've decided to take the bus. It's a 15 hour bus ride, but with my Mexico senior citizens discount card, it's only gonna cost me about $100, and that's with three really big suitcases, me a backpack, and a desktop computer in a box. I could fly, it'd be a lot faster, but with three suitcases, a box computer, and me, uh, these days, one bag cost as much as a person to travel, so that would cost me about $800 instead of $100 on the bus. Of course, if you're a high roller and you've got the $800, I would suggest you fly. I will carry my $3,000 brand new laptop with me in my backpack on the bus. My $3,000 laptop will be in a nice box right under where I'm sitting on the bus. The good thing about taking the bus is you pretty much put your stuff on the bus. You go up to the little man and you give him your stuff and you see it right go in the bus. And then you're sitting right above all of your luggage until you get off and you get, then you go down and pull your stuff off the bus. I have a friend that flew from Mexico to Houston, Texas. She had a laptop. She put it in a suitcase and checked it with her luggage at the airport. When she got to Houston, she opened her suitcase and the laptop was gone. Beware, I would never put my laptop in a suitcase and check it at an airport. Never, ever, ever. Please leave a comment. Tell us what you think. If you like the video, click the like button. If you know somebody packing and trying to be efficient, click the share button. Now, first let me say, I'm checking, I'm, I'm gonna be staying in a fully furnished uh, apartment in Moralia. Fully furnished in Mexico is totally different than furnished in the United States. In Mexico, fully furnished means everything forks, knives, spoons, pots, pans, coffee cups, plates, dishes, microwave, coffee pot, sheets, pillows, blankets. It means everything. So what will I pack? Pretty much it's going to be clothing and computer equipment. My rule for clothing is anything I haven't worn in a year, that's going to the church as a donation. I'll need some different clothes when I get to Morelia, but every city in Mexico, large and small, they have these outdoor markets where you can go and get fully a brand new wardrobe for a surely under $100.
We have a new Facebook group. It's growing. Come help us grow. It's called Mexico Expats Living in Mexico. Bill Dallas Lewis. Share your ideas, your comments, comments, post your images and your videos. I'll pack all my YouTube equipment, cameras, external hard drives, lighting setups, microphones, all of that stuff. That's going to take almost an entire bag. As I said, I'll put my laptop in my backpack and carry it with me on the bus. I'll pack legal documents, tax returns, birth certificates, marriage certificates, stuff like that. That'll all go in a suitcase. I'll have my passport and my permanent visa with me on the bus. I've been on buses many times in Mexico and many times the federales pulls over the bus and they get on the bus and they check everyone's identification. Many times they'll go through your bags and your luggage while you're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, FYI, on the bus, I will have a roll of my favorite toilet paper and if I were taking an airplane, I would have it with me also in my backpack. Finally, I'll pack about seven things that are very near and dear to my heart that I've had for a long time, but they won't take up hardly any space. I'll pack my Dartmouth College diploma and my Ohio State University diploma. I'll take an oil painting that was created by my mother who died about 25 years ago. I'll take my flute. I'll take this water dispenser. It's very handy. I'll take this paper towel stand. They're hard to find and I really like it. I'll take my Dartmouth College football. Living in Mexico and living in fully furnished apartments makes it very easy to move from place to place. Morelia may be my last stop in Mexico, but whatever, I don't have much stuff, I don't accumulate much stuff, and I don't think I ever will. We go live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Click that subscribe button. You'll get a notification. You can ask questions, leave comments, and share your joys about living in Mexico. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you don't own things. Things own you. We have many more videos to come. Click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.